Hey guys and welcome to Phuket. Today I'm going to give you a walk around of Phuket, how it's changed. I was here about three months ago and this place is completely changed since then. So if you're thinking about coming on holiday here, look at this beach. I mean look at that, can you see the ship? We're going to go through basically the best party places, good food places and just look around. I mean if you're thinking about coming here on holiday this is probably the number one place to be right now. But I must say it is so busy. But before we go into the, the basically the busiest place, Bangla Road, let's talk about the prices of this place. Now within the three months since the last time I was here, the prices of accommodation have tripled. Now obviously that's because it's so busy, but before you can get a hotel, cheap one like a guest house, and if you know where to get a good deal, you get a good place for about 15 pounds a night. Now obviously I'm a backpacker and I'm traveling around so I'm always getting the cheapest accommodation. I don't really ever pay for anything over 50 pounds for the night, it's, it's too expensive for me. But if you're here on holiday, obviously you're gonna pay that sort of money because you're only here for two weeks. But when you're living abroad, accommodation is expensive in the long run. You can already see how busy it is here. Three months ago, this was not here. This literally wasn't here. And they were open for tourists tourism as well as at this point but there was just not that many people food prices have also gone up I just had a shot of espresso it cost 110 baht now this is obviously because it's peak season but it's just a couple of things to expect but back to accommodation the cheapest place I could find was about 18 pounds a night so before I was paying 12 but now it's 18 so I've just booked six days it's gonna be here for three weeks so it's January right now and last year they started accepting the fact that you can buy marijuana you can smoke marijuana so you can literally buy it anywhere really there's lots of shops that you can buy it at and I believe you're supposed to not smoke it out in public if you're a foreigner I don't know if that's true leave me a comment I'd love to know but we shouldn't really be smoking it outside in public. You're allowed to sit down, like Amsterdam, where you can smoke in the shops, but it's not uncommon to keep smell smelling it everywhere you go. You can also buy mushroom shakes here, which basically make you uh, see colors in a different light. When I did them, I couldn't stop laughing uncontrollably. But there's a lot of things you can do here. It's, it's a pretty crazy place. place. And, and Phuket right now is literally the sort of center of everything. I haven't actually been out yet, but we're going to go down Bangla Road now and have a look at that. It's only four o'clock in the daytime right now, but I presume about nine o'clock it will be absolutely packed with people. One last look at the uh, beach before we go. And if you can see across the road, this is Patong Beach, Phuket, Thailand. This is where all the parties happen. Already can smell it. So there must be around about over a hundred bars down here. There are also uh, quite a few big clubs. There's one thing I love about this place more than anything else. And you don't really get it much places in Asia. In pretty much any bar you can play Connect Four. There's also BB shooting ranges everywhere. Hello. These are helium powered, aren't they? Helium? Let's have a look. Look at those. Ah, so it's BBs. How much is it? How much? 100 bar. Here we go. I'm actually trying to find a place that has Connect Four right now. I know I just said that, but no one's playing it for some reason right now. Here it is. They have it in every bar, but then no one's actually playing it right now. The reason I like it is because I'm really good at Connect Four. The girls play it here because they can actually sort of make money out of it. What they do is they challenge you to Connect Four. If they lose, you have to buy them a ladies' drink, which is normally about 200 bar and they never lose because they do it all day, all night. However, if you're good at it and you beat them, you can actually get free drinks out of them. And if you lose, 200. Ladies drink. Go on, mate, you got this. Are you uh, doing it for a drink or anything? Or? Uh, Are you the best at Connect Four or what? You're not? No. This guy's just told me that he's lost a couple of games already to her and they can make money out of it. So it's a little bit like gambling, but it's fun. You're on holiday. What I normally do is I go into a place and I say, look, if I win, I'll buy you all a drink behind the bar. Best of three. And if I lose, I'll buy you uh, the, other, the other way around. So basically I have to pay or whatever. Then normally I'll win and end up getting free drinks from my mates, if that makes sense. Who's won? Yeah. She's basically thrashed you, mate. <laughs> Let's see if I can win. Oh, she's thinking now. I've been beaten already. You've won. Wow. Good job I didn't bet on a drink. <laughs> She's a machine, mate. She's a machine. First game in a while. 
I was beaten. Sheens! Let's carry on. So to get around, most people use these. They're like tuk-tuks, but on four wheels. You can hold about 12 people in some of these. And at night time, they light up. Loads of speakers and stuff. Guys, if you got this far, you just watched me lose a game, subscribe. Help me one little bit. I love you guys. Let's see how much massages are anyway. Oh yeah, how much is a massage? I had to cut a little bit out of that video because she just started saying uh, special massage. Which basically means um, a naughty massage and that's uh, not what we want. But last time I was here I was staying just around the corner and there was three massage parlours doing the exact same thing. Every night you try and walk home, try and get you in for like naughty massages and stuff they call special massages. Let's see how much stuff costs. This is one of the cheaper places. Deep fried garlic. Only 150. Wow, that's cheap. It's only 100. The food set. Talking, we get dinner for around about three or four dollars. Actually, less than that. All right, we're going past a few more massage parlors now. I think at the end of the day, everyone needs to relax on holiday. It's just trying to find the right one. First up, let's get some water. They got 7 Eleven over here. Bottle of water is 15 pesos. Not pesos. We're not in the Philippines anymore, but. <laughs> about you guys but got a really weird thing that I do when I'm drunk after a night out I love a bag of seaweed give me a comment if any of you guys do that but I'll, I'll probably end up buying three or four of these bags on a night out and eating them when I go home hungover they sell coffee here thank you there are so many massages here and tattoo shops Woo! all right that wraps up my video please subscribe like and share if this is anything good that you enjoyed this is a new YouTube channel I post so many shorts it's brand new, so anything you can give me will help me out on my journey as I travel the world.